What's up, everybody? Crypto Muscle coming to you with another YouTube video. And so here we are, international now, worldwide syndicated. It's all about Crypto Muscle on the Crypto Muscle Network coming to you with another YouTube video. And this is uh, the latest on the high yield platform scene. And um, we're going to check in on all these platforms that I'm in at the moment and some of you guys are in this and some of you aren't just kind of watching along which is cool either way I just wanted to just keep you guys the community informed on what's going on as well as keeping me informed on what's going on you know because uh you know st stuff happens sometimes in the market whether we know it or not but the stuff that I talk about that I'm in at least I cover it from beginning to the end. It doesn't matter if it's good, bad, ugly. I make sure I cover all bases with it. And that way it, it shows that, you know, whatever happens, happens. And we know all the facts about it and not just kind of leave people hanging. And so with that, uh, we'll begin with uh, Nova Sphere. Well, actually, before we do Nova Sphere, let's talk. Let's see what else we want to talk about. Right, you know what? Let me see here. Here's one I want to get out of the way here. Just found out that Trader Seven decided to take an early exit. So Trader Seven, that one's going to be on me. All right. Usually, I don't take fault for anything that happens because you know shit happens in this space. This one, I don't know. Uh, I really don't have an explanation for this one. That one's just on me. All right, and so I have to say that, um, you know, as much as I do research and all that in this space, I should have done more further research, especially upon this one, Trader 7. So that one's on me. All right, so Trader 7 is already dead in the water. All right, so now uh, we still got Nova Sphere and Mex Capital. All right. Mex Capital, um, I was told that it was possi a possibility that this one has met its maker, its fate. And that one is over as well. And so if that's the case, well, I just wanted to kind of do a quick walkthrough on this. Actually, let me double check here. Yeah, so I was reading about what was going on with Mex Capital because there's really nobody nothing going on with it. And with Mex Capital, um I was just trying to see if there was anything coming through on this end of it, right? So um I wanted to give it the benefit of the doubt. That's why I did a withdraw early. Alright, typically I like to do it live, but this one I want to do early because they don't they only do manual withdraws. And it's within 24 hours, all right? So I try to give them a 24-hour window just to kind of show what's going on. And if it didn't pay with that 24-hour window, we pull the plug on this thing. So with that, Mex Capital is the latest one to kind of go away too. So Mex Capital, pull the plug, all right? So that's that one. I uh, just wanted to clean up a little bit. Sometimes we, that's what we got to do, you know, we got to, you know, clean up a little bit, douche, douche some things out, you know, and make sure we give it a nice cleansing. And so that's two that we got out of the way. And that leaves me with Novosphere. Oh, here's a little quick run by of USDT cash flow. It's still going all right. I mean, it's like whatever. Um, this is what it is here. A mining contract of sorts. Uh, it still has about 2490 in the contract. So it's like a slow sort of situation going on with this one. But it's there. All right. So that's USDT cash flow. Now, let's get to Novosphere. All right. So here's Novosphere. It's hit day five now. Uh, two more days. And it's going to hit 0.2% more to daily accrual. So it's going to be 3.7% daily on that. So that's, that's going to be in two more days. Uh, that's decently running. Six, uh, 41,000 in and eight, 8,400 out. So 
you know, as I run through this, we're going to find out if this thing is still going and flowing, right? Uh, as far as my understanding is from looking at everything, it's it's going, you know, long and strong, right? And uh, that's what that's what we're looking for. We're looking for things like this in this space, right? So with that, let's go take a look at. Let me see here real quick. Try and do some uh, behind the scenes here real quick. That uh, I was just like, hmm. Okay, so where am I here? I'm trying to look up something real quick on my Telegram group. See if I missed anything. Uh, I have to come back to it. All right, I was just double checking here. Man, my Telegram group's been growing though. It's like, man, out of nowhere, it just started boom, blo like booming. I was like, damn, you know. Uh, but that's good to see though. I like that. I like seeing that sort of thing happening in my uh you know situations right telegram group all that stuff so just wanted to mention that for a second there uh they do have a telegram group as well for novasphere and it's been very active let's uh check in on that so that's a good indicator that it's going and flowing you now when you have a nice active telegram group and so that's cool i like that it's showing that things are happening and the thing about it is, is that today was or not today yesterday was a day of rest all right the telegram group in terms of uh and the platform in terms of payouts and all that because they pay instantly from monday to saturday and so sunday was a day of rest yes you can still make a withdrawal but it's going to be a manual process and to me if it's a manual process, you might as well just wait till Monday when it's back to just uh, instant withdrawals once again. And so with that, so we already covered that 3.5% daily. Capital withdrawal available after 15 days. And here's an update on that. Instead of the 20% fee, they dropped it down to a 12% fee. So they gave you a little bit of uh, a flexibility there in terms of the fee to pay or after 25 days, 0% fee. Might as well just wait 25 days. Can't you just wait 25 days? Um, it was after 15 days, you're at 12% fee. So why give up 12%? Just run another 10 more days. But I get it. I mean, to each its own, everybody has to do what they got to do. So, uh, referral program, five, two, and one. I mean, it, it's typical stuff here. Types of crypto they accept. Bitcoin, Litecoin, ETH, Dash, Doge, uh, Bitcoin Cash, uh, BNB, Ripple, uh, Tron, and Tether. Probably Tron, Tether there, right? So, let's go take a look in here. Yeah, this is what we're looking at with Novasphere here. Put 750 in, and uh, we're gonna see what we could take out of here. Uh, let's see, I only got uh, Bitcoin and Tether here. Uh, I don't know if I have enough Tether to take out. So we're, I'm sorry, not Tether, uh, Bitcoin. So I wanna try the Bitcoin first. So it says we have 1580. So I'm gonna give that a shot right now. See how that goes. It might not be enough. I think you might need like 20 actually. Oh no, 25. All right, so my bad. Guess we'll just have to move it on to Tether TRC20 there at 84.75. I should be able to get that out. 2FA. Uh, Let's see here, where is it? Novasphere, there we go. Always important to turn on the 2FA. You just never know what's gonna happen in this space. Craziness, craziness. So batch ID, so that was instant. Hits the wallet, boom, all right. So that's good to see. So it's still going along pretty nicely. Uh, still early stages. I've only withdrawn 177 so far. I've only done 
couple of withdrawals and that's it. When you look at withdraw history here, let's see if they show that information. Withdraw. Uh, let's see, withdraw total 177. That's all I got. Nothing pending. It's all instant. So, Novasphere. And when you sign up, you set up your wallet addresses for all these cryptos here. Uh, some other other ones that wasn't shown on the front page. You got Perfect Money, Doge. I think I already mentioned that. All those coins. ePaycor, right? Another Tether ERC option here. Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, Tether again. Litecoin, Dash, and Tron. So we covered everything. Just a couple of extras here that wasn't included originally. And then from there, uh, you hit Make Deposit. It's very straightforward stuff. All right, there's only one plan, and enter the amount you want to put in, All right, whatever you're comfortable with, and then boom, it's ready to go pretty quickly. Um, and again, after seven days, uh, every seven days that is, there's a 0.2% to daily accruals here. So you got to keep that in mind, uh, that it's a weekly increase, right? And all we could do is just kind of proceed from here. So it's a pretty cool platform. So far it's standing up and out compared to the ones that have just kind of come and gone that I just showed you guys. But it's all good though, no worries. Um, this is where it's at, Novasphere. Uh, if you want to get started on that, like I said, it's pretty straightforward and easy. And... Um, yeah, this is where it's at right now. Besides USDT cash flow, which is a mining contract, this is the only hype I'm in right now. All the other ones are mid-levels, legacies, and we're just kind of just going and flowing with all those, right? Just chilling right now. And, um, you know, when I find a, a good hype, I'll make sure I find a better one <laughs> next time around, and uh, we'll just proceed from there. But stay tuned. Though. I'm looking at something right now, another... Um, mid-level-ish long-term sort of type of platform so be on the lookout for that because I got my eye on it right now and I'm thinking about bringing it up to uh, view on YouTube here in short time I'm actually looking at something else too um, it's kind of like a uh, what do you call it kind of like an ICO IDO whatever you want to call it uh that's gonna come with other aspects to it i'm kind of looking at it right now i'm interested on the why because i don't know something about it right you know how they say gut feeling that's what i'm going by going by that gut feeling and so um that's what i'm trying to do right now uh I'm still doing more research i just want to make sure i'm spot on and right on with it i don't want to just uh you know just jump right in you know I really want to dig into it um, these uh, couple other platforms so be on the lookout for that but yeah it's Monday and we're gonna see what else is going on today to uh, start off the week but right now I wanted to start off a week with a little bit of a cleansing uh, you know because that's what we do with this channel we make sure I cover the bases, like I said, from the beginning to the end, and making sure that, you know what, we had to spin it off, and we spun them off, and that's how I cover it on this channel. So, other than that, just do your research, see if it's something you like, there's nothing that you ever have to do, you don't have to do anything. You can just sit here and watch, and just, you know, the entertainment value of, you know, watching, listening to Crypto Muscle on the Crypto Muscle Network because I bring compelling videos all right, to this channel. I go crazy with the content. I mean, what, what more do you need, you know? It's like all the different things that I'm not your cookie cutter YouTuber is right here on this channel. You know, cut, I'm out of the box, all right? And it's all about taking this train ride up to Space Mountain. All right, so again, do your research. Check out my Telegram group. By the way, check it out. It's a, it's a good hangout spot. And uh, links down below. Comment down below, and I'll see you in the next one.